I'm Marichelle Navarro. I'm with the Global Knowledge Center on Crop Biotechnology of ISA. It's an organization uh, which is based internationally, but I'm part of the Southeast Asia Center based in the Philippines. And uh, we're part of the Templeton Project Grantees. We're doing a project to evaluate the adoption process among farmers in three countries in Asia. These are Philippines, India, and China. Maybe the question is, why are we studying these three countries? It's because 85% of small-scale farmers in the world are from these three countries. So we asked three collaborators, one from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, one from the University of the Philippines at Los Baños, and the other is the Cotton Improvement Society in India to help us track these farmers. And we found out very interesting results. One is that we normally think of farmers as being older uh, in the field. What's happening now is we see a lot of young farmers in the age range 21 to 40 who are going into biotech crops. This is a very significant uh, result because we usually think of farming as not being attractive to the young. But the results show that many farmers in the age range, as I mentioned, 21 to 40, are going into uh, biotech production. Also, uh, in the case of China, we've seen the growing feminization of uh, the system. We see more women farmers entering biotech crop production, and this is because they no longer have to use pesticides, they don't have to spray their fields, and they find the work uh, lighter in general. In the Philippines, we notice that there's a, not a really a majority, but a growing number, almost 20%, who are college graduates, but have gone into farming. Now, this is rather a new uh, phenomenon because usually people go to college to get into like white collar jobs. But now we see a growing number who will think that going into biotech crop production could be a successful business venture.